Overseer's log, Free State's bunker. Sam Blackwell and Raleigh Clay. Those damn traitors and their secessionists turned their backs on America to form their free states. Concrete bunkers. You'd never get that past a vault tech radiation proofing inspection, that's for sure. Sounds like they let go of their paranoia long enough to seek out help from the other survivors. Just have to hack this terminal, see what they left behind in there, and what they wanted to do. Greetings, stranger. Now, don't panic. My name is Abby, I'm not your enemy, and this isn't a trap. In fact, if you're hearing this, it means I'm not even alive. I was with a group called the Free States. We gave our lives trying to finish what we called the Scorch Detection System. The system will let you know when the Scorched are coming and has the means to help deal with the Scorch Beasts. If you can help, I've created a set of recorded instructions to complete the system. First, you need to find the final communications uplink. And chances are high, it'll need repairs. We entrusted it to a guy named Madigan and told him to place it on the antenna at top of the world. Find the uplink. You can use my workbench here to repair it. Then, check in at the main SDS terminal to trigger my next recording. If you're still there, I really hope you're willing to help a dead girl out. If so, good luck. And if not, well, enjoy dealing with the Scorched. And if by some chance this is Madigan, your timing sucks. If this message is playing, it means two things. The good, you've got a working uplink. The bad, some of the scorch detectors in the area are malfunctioning and need upgraded parts. It looks like my fear of the Myers ecosystem wreaking havoc on them has come true. For these repairs, first you need to get to Raleigh Clay's bunker. He's got replacement motors for the fans we use to keep the detectors dry. Oh, and write this down. R plus P421. It's Raleigh's password, and you'll need it. If you didn't catch that or you want more info, you can always check my workstation terminal. It's all there. Good luck. Next step is to find the replacement motors. If memory serves, they're in his generator room with the workbench. From there, you have the exciting task of finding some heating coils to upgrade them. This will make the fans more effective to fight the moisture created by the swamp. Good news is, I have two in my bunker. Bad news is, you need three more. Raleigh is sure to have some too, so do a sweep while you're there. After that, your best bets are Ella Ames bunker and the nearby city tower. Once you've got enough, head back my way. I've got your next step set up to play once you're back. Hopefully. Oops, I forgot to add. <clears throat> Scenario 1, Addendum. Raleigh's got a few schematics stashed away that can help you make some protective gear for all this swamp trekking. It'll help you blend in, make it hard for nature's latest evolutionary wonders to spot you. So, could be useful. Abby out! Non-stop missions for a while now. Gather supplies. Head out. Take a beat. Set up a thing. Take a few more beatings. Come on. Heal up. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. Most days, I'm not even sure I were still alive. <laughs> We've been working on this detection system for so long now, I feel like we'll never see the end of it. Detectors, lures, uplinks. I think I'd rather die than head back to another relay tower at this rate. Uh. But Riley and Neerit say it's worth it. And I believe them. No scorched are nasty business. And if I had the means to let people know they're coming, and better yet, maybe take a scorched piece out along the way, hell yeah, I'd say it's worth it. It's been two weeks 
since I lost Trish and Marty. Two weeks since we lost Harpers to those things. Those scorched and that nightmare. Two weeks of keeping it together for Mike and Megan and all the others. Sam, where the hell are you? I could really use my best friend right now. This was our thing, you know. We, we were in this together. And you started in with the secrets, the no-shows. You practically shoved Emily out the door. Now you're doing it to me. I was your best friend for over 40 years. I trusted you to help me see this through. You acted like you gave half a damn about anything besides yourself. You, you could have helped me. Maybe I never would have made the decision to rebuild Arbor's Ferry. Maybe half my family would still be alive. Recording. I got it, Eddie. It's recording. Jesus. All right, Madigan. You want to explain why we found you out there tampering with our stuff? Hey, you guys are always holed up in your bunkers. How else can I get your attention? Besides, a crazy contraption like that? Of course I'm going to try to figure it out. And by the way you guys came out, fully armed and ready to fight, I'm guessing it's pretty big. What you nearly broke was a scorch piece lure. It's the best defense we have against them. Whoa, you're telling me you're luring those things down? Uh, you got some balls, Free States. Even with your numbers. Taking on a beast is no easy task. It doesn't just lure them down. We found some research and tech at one of the Brotherhood's old outposts. Hella realized if we can blast a scorched beast with a certain frequency, it disorients it long enough for us to go in and take it out. Nira Janabi started work on the tech, tested it, and it works. This is a real game-changer, Raleigh. If what you say is true. It's true, Hank. In the system would be done if it weren't for those damn raiders. Look, if this is as big as you think it is, the fire breathers can handle any raiders. But I need to know how this system works and see it in action first. Hey, if you think we're gonna just reveal our work to an ex-Brotherhood member, think again. You wanna see how this system works? Well, you got some serious trust to earn. July 15th, 2079. Wow. Who would have thought a little radiation would turn this world upside down? We were down in those bunkers for what? A couple of years? There's no way radiation did all this all by itself in that amount of time. I mean, first off, this place is crawling with those, those orange-red vines, the likes of which there there is no precedent for. I saw a toad that wouldn't even fit in a bathtub. A 12-point with two heads. Be still my heart. And insects. Oh, you don't even want to know about. <sighs> I've started taking samples for analysis. Hopefully the plants can still be used for some good old holistic treatment. Raleigh's getting to work on a series of tests for the water and soil. I don't know. I guess we can count ourselves lucky the air is breathable. But this place? I grew up here. And I barely recognize it. There's no way we were prepared for this. Toxicity levels? Slight mutations? Yes. But uh, I'm telling you, Darwin would lose his mind out of here.
dearest Abigail and Calvin. I've instructed Ella to give you this holotape on the event of my death. Please don't blame anything you're about to hear on her. These are my wishes. Ella has respected them, and I expect you to as well. I've been diagnosed with Parkinson's. I've still got plenty of time to live a normal life. Well, as normal as can be expected. But the time will come where my health will deteriorate and I can no longer care for myself. I love you both tremendously, and you know that, but I will not be a burden to you, my children, especially in these dark times. If everything has gone according to plan, hopefully my death has meant something. Please understand why I chose not to tell you. Abby, you are smart enough to see our work through till the end. Calvin, you're turning into such a fine young man, your mother would have been proud, but not as proud as me. You two take care of each other. You're going to make it through this. I know it. should mean you've got yourself five upgraded detector motors and one working uplink. Now for the fun part. First, you need to repair the damaged scorched detectors in the mire. Second, that communications uplink needs to be set up on the antenna at top of the world. You may or may not have encountered a lovely Miss Nanny there that goes by the name Rose. I programmed a holotape you want to give her along with the uplink. It explains how she can benefit from all this and get her to help us out. The only way we get that uplink set up is through that Miss Nanny. And finally, once you're done, you get to come all the way back here. Yep, that's right. We're not done yet.
alive and I made it out of that godforsaken shithole of them all. Woo! I got daylight to burn, but I'm heading to Harper's Ferry. I even found a few goddamn flowers for Ella. <laughs> no, they may not be the right ones, but I ain't coming back empty-handed. Uh-uh. I'm back. Charlie Walker is a dead man. I get my hands on him. I'm gonna. Didn't expect to see your face out here, Jakey. At least not alive, anyways. Oh, no. Don't get up on my account. Tell you what. I'll take these here flowers, and I'll give them to Ella with your regards. All you gotta do is die. Deal? <coughs> Figured you'd be on board. Frustrate you knowing that there's so few people left to raid out there? Maybe once someone does something about those damn flying beasts out there, people will return and then I can kill them and take their stuff. For me? How <laughs> thoughtful! Now, let's see. Doesn't appear to be a virus. I could scan for. You know what? Screw it. I could use some excitement. You see? Told you that gal was smart. Like I said, can't rebuild the raiders with Scorched crawling all over the place. Plus, it's not like I'm risking my life here. Always a bonus. So, looks like you got yourself a deal. <laughs> I'll just take that little uplink off your hands. Abby included instructions on how to install it. Not like I need them. So, you're off the hook there. I guess all you have to do is make it back to her bunker for the next steps. You hear that, Matt, again? It's mission accomplished after all! <laughs> on the main entrance terminal to get inside. Once it's been uploaded and installed, I've got another recording set up for you, so make sure you're safe enough to hear it. We fled from Harper's after a Scorch Beast attack, so who knows what lives there now. Be careful. Scenario two, semi-ideal. You made it. And maybe Harper's Ferry is not the nasty scorch beast that I think it was. Now that you're in, you need to get to Raleigh's terminal and use that map to help you schematics. You have to set up the communication network for the uplinks and tie everything together. The bad news is, Raleigh fortified the armory to protect our research against the Brotherhood of Steel after they stopped playing nice. There's no outside access to the security we wired up there for safety purposes, so you may need to dodge a few turrets. So, if all goes well, you'll be hearing from me soon enough.
I think it's time we claim the armory as our own territory. I'll need to get Eddie and Neeridge to help out with some security measures. Survivors are gonna hate it, but we gotta protect our own, especially against the damn Brotherhood. Derek told us they've been hitting up the responders for manpower and supplies and not taking no for an answer. Well, they got another thing coming if they try that over here, and we need to be ready. Okay. Hopefully, my network predictions were successful, and you're legitimately triggering this next message. If not... I guess I'm speaking to no one, and none of this is going to matter. But I digress. You want to find Senator Sam Blackwell's terminal, and use the master holotape to download the files we need. It should be fun, since you get to visit the one and only Charleston Capitol building. Still intact, last I saw. Then, find the nearest relay tower, upload all that hard-earned data... Piece of cake, right? Right. yourself on the back because you just got yourself some top secret security codes off a US senator's terminal. Next up, the closest relay tower you can find, where you get to upload all that hard-earned data. You're officially halfway done with the final part of this process. I mean, that's not like I'll ever really know, but one can hope, right? Abigail, what is this nonsense about throwing a Christmas party? We're already rationing supplies and we have another winter like 78. Our people need this. They've been struggling on for years through the war, radiation, mutants and raiders. They need something normal. Something to give them hope that things will be better. We don't have the supplies. We need to keep them for the war effort. Waiting to hold the town hall till I was out meeting those Brotherhood rebels? It's beyond deceitful. You think I'm some dumb hick just on account of the fact that you abandoned your people and your accent. 
I know that you're trying to sway the vote next spring by letting your friends hoard food. I checked the ledgers. Don't do it in the dark. Don't look right out in the light, Tanner. What? You! It's furious! If you're fixing to have a fit, best sit down before you bite your tongue clean off. Wouldn't want to ruin my carpet. It's all gonna be donated food. And we'll only keep the lights on for a couple hours. And if you're sweet, I might even let you wear the Santa suit. I will never! You forgot your Christmas present! It's bourbon! To remind you of where you come from. Good. Melody deserves us more anyway. any and all possible glitches you are officially the most amazing person in all of Appalachia and hopefully not the only one the scorch detection system is fully up and running if you had any idea how long it took us to just get half the system functional the lives lost my brother my dad and yours truly of course now whenever the scores are around, the detectors will pick them up and broadcast a message to your pit boy All that's left is the means to fight them off. If you haven't already, check my terminal to read about the traps we've created for the Scorch Beasts. Hopefully, they're still in working order, and they're your best bet at making those flying freaks manageable. Beyond that, the only ones with any real means were the Brotherhood of Steel. Obviously, they didn't last, but they packed some serious firepower. They took their last stand somewhere in the bog at a place called Fort Defiance. But, thanks to their code names, I have no idea where it is. You'll want to start at Camp Venture, Eddie's old... I've also put everything I've got on the Brotherhood under an entry called Fort Defiance on my terminal. Good luck out there. And... thanks. If this holotape is playing, it means... Our lives and all this work meant something. 